It would be much more expensive dealing with it in the West than containing it where it is. Because of the Ebola now, people are not working. But because they don't have money and they are not being paid, you find out that you know, people are not really coming to buy. Um, Joseph Freeman, I'm doing business at Raleton Market. For the rice we got here, the 25 kilo of Bella, it used to be something like $15, $0.50. But right after the Ebola crisis, we found out that it's being sold now to us at the rate of $17. These are not rich countries. These are very, very uh, poor countries with poor in infrastructure. My name is Arif Hussain. Uh, I'm Chief Economist of the World Food Program. Right now I'm visiting the West Africa region to essentially look at the, the markets and see how they are reacting to the Ebola outbreak. We worry because we know food is life. If the food becomes expensive, there will be malnutrition with effect the de deterrent. I'm Samuel F. Kwe. Why would Phoebe Hospital as a nurse? Ebola is a deadly disease and have effect on the economy. Business people are been, uh, afraid of, of being infected. And most of the business people uh, went out of the, the country. The few that remain, they increase the price. We're talking about things like stigma of the disease, the element of fear. You don't want to go out. You don't want to interact with people. You don't want to work your fields. You don't want to go to the school. Schools are closed, things like that. It is about the purchasing power of the people. It is about the affordability of the food in these markets. What WFP is trying to do is to use a mix of, of many things. Maybe in certain places WFP will have to bring food. In other places it may be about cash, giving people cash because food is available. In other places it may be about value-based vouchers because we just want to secure the, the, the supply side of the market. And in another place it may just be about local purchases where you pick food in one place and you Using our resources, we take it to the places where it is necessary, either as food assistance or through markets. Containing the disease right now is a global economic problem. If the rates at which it is multiplying continue, one way or the other, it is no longer going to be a West African problem anymore. Because if it goes out, it is going to make the, the 2008 financial crisis look like a joke. Thank you.